This isn't Microsoft's Windows 11. It's faster, lighter, and destroys benchmarks. Hi, this is your host, Neil from HT. Meet Tiny 1125H2 version 8, the most secure Tiny 11 ever that will run on almost anything you throw at it. So without wasting any time, let's test Tiny 11 from a simple benchmark to the ultimate 256 megabytes RAM test. The default Windows 11 start menu is packed with clutter, apps and shortcuts you'll probably never use. Tiny 11, on the other hand, starts completely clean with zero pinned apps. You decide exactly what goes on your start menu. And while stock Windows ships with nearly 50 pre-installed apps, Tiny 11 comes with none. Don't worry though, the essentials are still there. You've got the security panel and the Microsoft Store ready when you need them. Next up, let's test boot time. I'll restart the system, start the stopwatch, and measure how long it takes to get back to the desktop. This test is shown in real time, no 2x or 4x speed, so you can see the exact results on screen. Now, Windows 11 carries a lot of background processes, which take time to shut down and start up again. That overhead slows things down compared to a leaner build. In this run, Windows 11 completes the restart in about 30.26 seconds. Now let's run the same boot time test on Tiny 11. Same method in real time with no speed ups. This time, the restart is noticeably quicker because there's no telemetry or Microsoft adware running in the background. Tiny 11 completes the cycle in just 26.07 seconds, finishing a full four seconds faster than stock Windows 11. Four seconds may not sound huge, but on older or slower hard drives, the gap grows dramatically, turning into minutes saved instead of seconds. That's where Tiny 11 really changes the game. Speaking of huge differences, disk usage is one. A clean install of Windows 11 takes 20.6 gigabytes, which quickly grows to 30 to 50 gigabytes after updates and hibernation. But Tiny 11, just six gigabytes. That's a massive saving. And if you want Windows 11 to feel as fast and light as Tiny 11 without reinstalling, check out my app, Velotic. Velotic is built for people who demand performance. It doesn't just raise FPS, it optimizes your entire PC. CPU and GPU settings are tuned automatically, junk files are removed the moment they appear, and hidden slowdowns are fixed in real time. With 500 plus advanced tweaks, you control every part of your system. Debloat windows in one click, install apps instantly, unlock hidden hardware features, and manage power plans for maximum speed. Even storage issues are solved. Velotic compresses files safely, freeing up to 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick hack or a free cleaner. Velotic has been engineered over three years, tested by thousands and updated constantly. At just $19.99, it's a one-time purchase that pays itself back every time your PC runs faster, smoother, and cleaner. If you want your system to run at full potential without effort, Velotic delivers. Now, the most asked question. RAM usage. Windows 11 idles at 2.4 gigabytes out of four, and with forced updates, it climbs past three gigabytes. Tiny 11, by contrast, sits at just 1.4 to 1.5 gigabytes. With Velotic's RAM cleaner, you can even push it down to around 700 megabytes. And about that 256 megabyte RAM promise, I'll show you at the end. With Windows 11's telemetry and advertising services running, you're looking at 153 processes, 2,100 threads, and over 66,000 handles. Way too much for any operating system to manage efficiently. Tiny 11 slashes that to 104 processes, 1,100 threads, and just 36,000 handles. You can reduce it even further by trimming extra services, which we're planning for the next build aimed at extreme minimalists. And if you're wondering where to download the latest Tiny 11 safely, I'll link the official video in the description. Now let's dive into serious benchmarking, a full stress test using Geekbench 6. This test normally takes around five minutes, so I've sped up the footage to save time. First, we look at Windows 11, hoping automatic updates don't kick in and slow things down. Windows 11 still scored 2,352 points in single core and 5,000 
853 in multi-core, clearly subpar. You'll see why when we run the same test on Tiny11. And in case you're wondering, who am I? I'm the original creator of Tiny11, released back in 2021, long before NT Dev appeared in 2023. With years of experience, I build production-grade, de-bloated systems and performance boosters for serious enthusiasts and professionals, not casual users. Now Tiny11 scores 2,461 in single-core and 6,667 in multi-core, a significant improvement over bloated Windows 11, showing the real performance boost of a lean, optimized system. Now let's talk about Windows Defender. Some users rely on it, others prefer third-party antivirus, and some even dislike it because of false detections. Tiny11 gives you the freedom of choice. By default, Defender is disabled, but you can easily turn it on. Open the Configure Toolbox, go to the Windows Defender tab, and click Enable. To start scanning right away, switch on real-time protection from the Windows Security Panel. Should you use it? Yes, if you browse unknown sites or download files from sketchy sources. No, if you stick to trusted websites and avoid random downloads. Tiny11 lets you decide, keeping your system both safe and clean. Another hot topic is Windows updates. In Tiny11, updates are disabled by default, but you can enable them whenever you need the latest features. All updates work, yet you retain full freedom of choice. Keep in mind, Updates must be enabled if you want to use the Microsoft Store. If you prefer the store without full updates, simply enable all updates, then immediately select Enable Security Updates Only. Now let's talk about the Microsoft Store. It works just like on any other Windows build, as long as updates are enabled. Tiny11 comes with zero pre-installed apps, so you may want to add a few essentials like Notepad, Calculator, or Snipping Tool all available from the store. Just search, click Get, and it installs automatically. This version of Tiny11 also fixes the old administrator account bug, meaning you can now sign in to your Microsoft or Xbox account and download all your purchased apps and games without issues. And just like that, we've installed Notepad. While that's finishing up, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Tiny11 builds and guides. Just as promised, we're putting Tiny11 to the ultimate test, running it on only 256 megabytes of RAM, which is less than most computers from the 1990s had. We use this as the release standard. If Tiny11 can't boot with 256 megabytes, it doesn't meet HT and Apatis quality. Failing builds are immediately dropped. Here you can see it boots up without issues. Of course, don't expect blazing speed at such low RAM, but it proves how far Tiny11 can go. I'll open Task Manager so you can see the actual usage. Promise kept. I create fully personalized Tiny11 builds, tailored apps, themes, and performance tweaks, optimized for your PC and want one? Shoot me an email, which you'll find on my channel page, and let's make your perfect Windows setup. Thanks for watching. The official installation video link is in the description. See you in the next one. This is the harbor of tech sailing off.